Hey, welcome back to Crazy Gamer Games. Today we're doing another update on my Verge Panther build by Tacom. Um, it's 135th German recovery tank. Um, last video, um, I put the wheel. I showed you the wheels on. And I did a little weathering with some Citadel Agrath Earthshade, and I got the rundown staining I wanted of wear and tear. That was the look I was going for. I didn't think I was going to get it, but. It ended up working out in my favor. Um, the other side has a little bit more streaking effect. Um, I might add a little bit more to the other side. Um, I'm not very good at weathering. This is my first tank. So um, I put some Agrath Earth Shade inside there. But I'm not happy with the way it looks. So I am going to go with a different type of shade army painter and I am going to use their strong tone their strong tone I have the um the war paints um, zombicide ones because I originally started painting by painting zombicide which I mostly completed which is a win for me so I'm going to use this strong shade I haven't used oh, sorry about the camera bump their shades in a while so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit sorry guys hopefully the lighting's better on this I moved I moved the um the light on the camera or I moved a light to the camera hopefully it's so we're gonna get a little bit of that shade in there we shook it up gotta make sure you shake it up and we're gonna mix it and we're gonna put a little bit of this in this along this side down here like so along in there like so along this joint right there Sorry if my hand got in the way trying to film with the camera on the left side so my right handed hand doesn't get in the way hopefully that works out now this is kind of a a gray tone which is kind of what I'm looking for here now I didn't pre try this I'm just just slathering it on here first time for you guys I mean this is basically a test model for when I do this possibly this build along I have planned coming up so you know I want to do a build along where I build the whole model it's going to be in the Panther series so it's going to be very similar um, chassis to um, this one here but it's going to be either a Panther A um, mid to late or another Berg Panther that um, is a little bit different Hope you're seeing this all right. Get some in the middle here. I'm hoping this darkens them scratches a little bit that were in there. Hopefully. So let's we'll see what's going on. Um, I was um. Love Minis, he was talking about some secret weapon um, shades and stuff. And, um, you know, I have to say, I watched some videos last night on it. Well, I'm tempted. I'm real tempted. I'm going to see if I can locate some here in the States. I'm in the U.S. So sometimes paints, model paints, are hard to get. Or if I can get them, they take forever to get to me. And then, you know, I have to use them for the next project or whatnot. So I'm going to um, I'm gonna see if my local hobby store, which is more of a camera store, but um, they do sell kits and paints, and I'll see if they can get some secret weapon. Because normally if you ask for something, they'll, um, they'll try to help you out. So I'm going to let that, I'm going to let that do its thing, and then we're going to do... Put that shade out of the way there. Clean the brush off. I know y'all enjoy watching that. I don't want a dirty brush. So now 
let's see here. Now I'm going to take some of this other. Uh, actually, I changed my mind. I'm going to use this Tamiya paint here and I'm going to dry brush this engine. This is um, light sea gray. I don't even know if this is going to look good, but we're going to find out. So um, I'm going to use an Army Painter um, large dry brush. I was going to use my uh, my Citadel dry brush, but this Army Painter feels like it's going to give me a better finish that I'm looking for. The um, the Citadel one is good for stuff with not a lot of fiddly bits that can break off. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of a little bit of paint in there, put the lid right on top there. And then I'm going to rub most of it off. And then I'm just going to kind of dry brush me some stuff on this engine here. Kind of going down from the top because that's where you're going to see it. Hopefully you can see this color here. Because it's, it's a German gray is the color I used. Vallejo Surface Primer German gray is the color I used. Don't need to do too much because the air cleaner is going to be um, covering up the top part of it. I just want to get this on there. Yeah, this is this is the color I'm looking for right here. If I go a little too heavy, I'm thinking my my shade I got in mind for this is going to look good here. I don't know if I can do a good job on this exhaust. I may make this engine come out. I'm liking the way it's looking already. I mean, I'm like, I'm like I said, I'm not the best model maker in the world, but you know, I'm practicing. I'm gonna. Um, I found a a YouTuber that does these build-alongs online, um, Nigel's uh, Modeling Bench. He is a fantastic teacher and a fantastic modeler. Um, and very humble, I have to say, which is always good in a person. Um, he seems like a great guy, and he's starting a new build-along with an Airfix um, airplane. I want to say it's a Typhoon. It's 124 scale Typhoon. You can check out his channel um, for all the information on that. He hasn't started it yet, but um, he's waiting to finish another build along with a with a different plane. But um, I never built a plane, and he his current build alongs. I watched them all, and he has gone into great detail. Told you how to fix problems, what problems may arise, and things like that. So I like that in a teacher. So. I'm looking forward to um, doing that. Plus, he's super friendly. You know, I contacted him by email, and he was super helpful. So, worked out for me. So, as you can see, dry brush that. Here we go. Zoom in. You can see it a little bit better. Um, it lightened up the edges. Um, some people say I went a little heavy. Some people may not. That's fine. It's my model. Do what I want. I'm just showing you how I do things. Put that right there. Now, clean that brush the best I can. I like my choice in that too. I, I normally always use the Citadel small dry brush or large dry brush, but the angle on this, the angle on this brush, I mean, this is the War Gamers, you know, I got a set of these a while back for my zombie side, and wow, that's a that's a nice dry brush. Um, I also have one of their their terrain brushes which is a lot bigger than I use for dusting off my models but wow that's that that was a that was a good um, that was a good um, dry brush I think it's synthetic I think all dry brushes are synthetic now what I want to do is first I'm going to close this paint up before I spill it everywhere because that would be me that would not be good so we got that Tamiya paint that's going to dry pretty quick um, I'll show you what um, uh, what else I've worked on here. I got um, the two seats. Um, I don't want to show you putting them in yet. I got some floorboards. Um, I got uh, the the gauges right here. 
um, I haven't put together yet this is for the driver's compartment you know his oil pressure and whatnot they're gonna get decals so I'm gonna have to prime them and gloss them I'm gonna have to prime all this separately um, because this this plate on these chairs this bottom plate is the red oxide which is the German red brown is what I'm doing it as and then the seats um, from the photos from the MIG book are black so I'm gonna spray it all the whole thing the red oxide primer and then just use a brush to paint the seat I'm gonna leave the frame um, the red oxide because there was a lot of red oxide in this in this um, tank um, the only downside you know I love those MIG books on Panthers and King Tigers but not a lot of info on what the engine looked like other than their CAD drawings that they show you themselves. Um, and after I shade this, um, it's probably dry now, I can shade it. After I shade this, I want to, um, I'm going to put some um, rust on the muffler and I'm just going to use um, Riza Rust or... Um, actually, I have some Tamiya weathering powder. I might put some of that on there and try that. I've never used it before. Well, let's let, let's put some shade. Um, I'm gonna. There's a there's a military shade that's green. Yeah, here it is. It's, it's a military shader. It's this horde shader. And um, is this still good? I'm probably gonna do some stuff I shouldn't do. Yeah, see this brown is still good, and I want to add a little green to that. She shake these really well. I just want to add some green to that. I'm gonna put this on my my engine here. See, I want to dilute that just a little bit with some water. I'm assuming you can do that. You can do that with Citadel shades. I know this is a wash, but I'm talking about my hand being in the way, guys. So I'm going to dab off some of that. And then I'm just going to place this on here like so. Shade it up. I'll come in with some touch up and some rusting detail later. So I think I have to paint this mounting bracket red oxide. If I do the um, engine mounted separately, I'll do that. But you can see this dry brush is coming through this shade just like I wanted it to. I'm going to do this up here. I may decide to do that air cover off. But that's a lot of pieces. I may magnetize it. Um, you watched a lot of my earlier videos. I've done a lot of magnetate magnetization of stuff. Um, I use the Magnet Baron's products. He sells the best man magnets on the market. Nobody sells better my magnets than he does. It's the Magnet Baron. I believe he's out of California in the United States. It sells fantastic magnets. The N52s, um, super strong, super powerful just what you need so like I said this is going to be seen from the top down so I just want to make sure you know the, the, the shade I have on it is top down shade get it all over myself here can you see that All right, now that I got it all over myself, that's I'm sure that was exciting to watch. So, all right, that has been shaded with that mix of brown and green. Um, in my defense, that 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 green one says it's the military shader, and this is a military vehicle. So, I'm going with it. Let's take a look at the inside of our compartment here. Um. Yeah, I like, you know, I like the the dirt and grime of that. It's not, let's see if we can get a better zoom into this here. It's not, um, it's not 
clean it's not clean and neat it's messy and dirty which you know I would think a 60 70 80 year old tank that's what it would look like inside filthy with chips and nicks I mean that's what the the reference material I have look like and that's what this is gonna be so basically the floor is done in this um, the transmission I'm not happy with it I wish I would have painted it outside the model I talked about that in my last video um, I'm gonna have to just live with that it's a little out of place and I'll see what kind of fit issues I have with that um, I got the engine shaded up um, I had already done the air cover you can see that better now that's just a custom made cream color I made by mixing um, ceramite white with Screaming Skull from Citadel these two ceramite white and Screaming Skull um, two parts white to one part Screaming Skull I got a whitish cream color and then I just brushed it with the Agrath Earthshade sorry Agrath Earthshade and it you know I'm not a professional painter guys and if you're not enjoying this painting stuff I'm sorry um, I'm not very good at it but I'm trying this is you know other than Warhammer stuff this is the first thing I've painted um, I might try to put some of that new contrast paint on there to see if I do a better job but you know I'm getting there um, future uh, I'm gonna be trying I mean I'm just trying these these weathering and shading techniques when I get to a future build along or whatnot, it's gonna be I'm gonna know what to do and it's gonna it's gonna look a little bit more professional. This is kinda of my trial run here. But you know, it's still full of tips and ideas, you know, stuff like that. So that's what we got. We got us a little engine shaded with the dry brush on it. Um highly recommend little product tip, highly recommend the large dry brush by War, um, Marmy Painters Wargamer large dry brush you saw me use it, it worked great um, I used the the Citadel uh, medium shade brush for the um, for the shading for the shade and then I used the Army Painters uh, Zombicide Horde Shader and Plague Shader I believe you know I don't know I use this one the green one and then I use the brown Wh whatever one is brown I'm sorry guys I, I totally put it down I think it's the zombie shader or it's a green tone too yeah, sorry guys, I put it down and I don't remember which one it was. So, but that's what we had today. Um, that's going to be it for these videos. Um, for Crazy Gamer Games, I'm the Crazy Gamer. You guys have a great day.